Hello everyone, and this is Robin. Thank you so much for tuning in to MyPinkStamper.com. You're going to love today's project that I am going to demonstrate for you. We are using the Celebration Stamp Set, Beautiful Peacock, and right now, January 3rd, 2018, through March 31st, 2018, you can get this stamp set for free with a $50 retail order directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net if you're in the USA. All right, so this is one of my most favorite projects that I've designed in a long time because it's using my favorite colors, which are the bright colors. And as you can see right here, I'm using black, lemon lime twist, berry burst, Bermuda Bay. I will put on the screen the item code along with the description of everything that I'm using for this project along with uh, pictures of them at the very end of this YouTube video so it'll be easy for you to find them if you have any questions so we're gonna go ahead and start by pulling out my big shot and we are going to be cutting ovals and scalloped ovals with the layering ovals framelit set from Stampin Up I'm using a piece of our whisper white cardstock and I'm going to put the oval on here. And I'm also using a piece of our basic black cardstock and I'm putting the scallop oval over here. I'm going to add the cutting, standard cutting pad to the top and just run this through. Super easy, anyone can do it. It's totally super simple, I promise. All right, that's all I need from those. They just punch right out if you've never used the Big Shot before. It's super easy to do. All right, I'm going to now start stamping, and I'm gonna pull out a, our grid paper pad because I'm going to be stamping off just a little bit. The images I'm going to use are the peacock body. I'm using this part here and this tail here, and then beautiful friend. I'm going to add them onto some of our clear stamping mounting blocks. These are our, this is a photopolymer stamp set. It only comes in the photopolymer. This one does not come with our red rubber. All right, put these on here. It doesn't really matter where I'm putting them because these are photopolymer and you can see through them. So I'm gonna start first by stamping. This might seem a little backwards, but I'm going to stamp the beautiful feathers first and I'm stamping them in the lemon lime twist. So I'm just going to ink these up, ink this up. And the reason I'm stamping this first is because I want to make sure that I have room for everything that I want to do on this oval here. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And now I'm going to use our very first ink pad, ink this up, and I'm going to do my best to line this up in here. You guys, I'm at a really weird angle. If you saw how I was filming this, you'd, we'll be impressed if I'm close. I'm very close, yay! <laughs> and now I'm going to take Bermuda Bay and I'm going to stamp the feathers. Now I'm going to be stamping these two times. The first time I'm going to stamp it just right here, kind of wrapped around it. The second time I'm gonna ink it up and I'm gonna stamp it off first and I'm going to have it be like a little shadow underneath it. And you can even do another time if you wanted to add a little bit more, just a little more color. There we go, a little more texture and color. Okay, now I'm going to take our basic black ink pad and I'm going to stamp Beautiful Friend. Now, if you're one of my customers and you've ordered from my website, you may have received this card in the mail. I made a batch of these in December to send out. All of my customers get hand-stamped cards that I've made just for you, and this was one of the designs. Okay. Now we're going to finish up this card. I'm going to take some of our snail adhesive. I'm going to add that onto the black scallop, and it just really makes everything pop on the image. And now I'm going to take, we're going to start here. Okay. I have a piece of our Fairy Burst cardstock. This is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. 
and I have a piece of our lemon lime twist cardstock. This is cut at two inches by five and a quarter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put some adhesive on the back of the lemon lime twist, and I want this to be on the bottom half right here. Now I'm going to take some of our Bermuda Bay stitched, stitched, I can't even say that, say that 10 times fast, stitched satin ribbon, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to do the Robin card and cheater method. And I'm going to wrap this around like so. And I have just regular kitchen tape on my hands. Just make sure it stays there. Now I'm going to fold my basic black cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. You get two sheets or two cards from one sheet of our eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Fold this in half. And while this is upside down, I'll go ahead and put my adhesive on the back. And I'm going to add this on here. And now we are going to take our beautiful peacock and I'm gonna grab some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm gonna add four on the back of, the, of this. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to add this to the left here. But I'm not done. I'm going to use some of our Stampin' Dimension, or sorry. These are some of our rhinestones. And they're so fun just to spruce up a card, a scrapbook page, a three-dimensional item. I'm just going to add some onto this peacock's beautiful tail. When my daughter was in kindergarten, she went to a private school in Florida, and they had peacocks that were wild there just running around. They lived on the campus and it was the coolest thing. We saw them all the time and they are just gorgeous. All right, now we have a little, little dilemma here. I get the question asked all the time. What do I do? My inside of my card is, is black. How do you write on that? Well, you can use one of our chalk markers if you'd like to write using white on the inside, but most of us just want to write in regular pen. So what I do is I take a piece of cardstock. This one's cut at five by three and three quarters, and I'm gonna put it inside, and you could even stamp this up so it coordinates. So let me go ahead and let me take the Bermuda Bay, just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, and I'll take, these were, this was a tail earlier, remember? So now I'm just going to make it part of the inside of my card. Whoops, and I messed up a little bit there, that's okay. There we go, beautiful. You know what I meant to do. All right, so there is our card. And here's another one that I made. And I hope you enjoyed, I hope you give this card a chance and try it out yourself, it's super easy. Again, all of the materials can be purchased directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.com and I'm Robin. You can email me at mypinkstamper at gmail.com if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day, see you soon, bye-bye. <laughs>